Hi, welcome back to the module data file handling. As you know, there are two different types of file. One is text file and the another one is binary file. So in the previous videos, we studied all the file operations on the text file. Now it is the turn of the binary file. So let's study the file operations on the binary file. There are two main operations which we can perform on the binary file is writing a data to the binary file and reading data from the binary file. So in this video, we are going to study how to write data to a binary file. So let's get started. To write data to the binary file, we have fwrite function. It is used to write an entire block of data to the file. Generally, the block can be arrays or structures. So fwrite function takes four arguments. The first argument is address of data, which we will get using ampersand sign. The second argument is size of data. For that, we can use size of functions, which will give the number of bytes required for that block of data. The third argument is the number of data means how many instances of that block we are going to use, followed by the file pointer. So let me explain how to write data to the binary file using program. So let's consider a simple program to write a block of data to the binary file. For that, I'm going to declare one structure student containing two data items, one of integer data type that is register number and the next is a character array. As you know, to access these elements, we should declare a structure variable. So here S1 is a structure variable. Now these are the three steps as we have discussed during text file. The first step is to create file pointer. The second step is to open a file for write mode. And as you know, to open the binary file in write mode, we should use WB. Now we have to take the values from the console and we have to write it into binary file. Using printf, I am printing the message and using scanf statement, I am taking the data. Now it's time to write these data items to the binary file. So for that we are using fwrite function. So first we are taking the address of the data and S1 is the structure variable through which we are accessing the structure element. So we are taking ampersand of S1 and then we want to know the number of bytes required by that data member. So we are taking size of S1 and here we are taking only one instance of structure so here i have mentioned one followed by the file pointer and here fptr is the file pointer after writing data to the file we should close it so using f close we are closing the file now let's click on build and run to check the output you can see here the cursor is waiting for input so let's enter register number and name so the program is getting executed successfully means the binary file has created and we have written the data into the binary file so let's check it you can see here the data one binary file has created in the data files folder in the next video i will be explaining how to read the data from the binary file so keep learning keep coding see you in the next video Hi, welcome back to the module data file handling. In the previous video, we discussed about writing data to the binary file. Now we will try to read it. For reading, 
we have fread function which has syntax similar to fwrite function which we use to write data to the binary file. So let me explain fread function using a program. So let's consider the same structure and these are the three steps generally we follow when we are working with the file. As we are reading data from the binary file, we are going to use the mode RB. Now using fread function, we are going to read the data and these are the four arguments of fread function. After reading the data from the file, we will display it on the screen. For that, I have used a simple printf statement. Now save the changes and click on build and run to check the output. You can see here we are getting exactly the same data what we have written to the binary file in the previous video. So in this video we learn how to read the data from the binary file. In this way we have successfully completed the module data file handling so keep learning keep coding see you in the next video.